Back, a nationwide chip shortage is leaving some car dealerships almost empty. Now, the chips are essentially the brains of any modern electronic device. According to CBS, the pandemic drove chip demand up unexpectedly as a lot of folks bought computers and electronics to work and study from home. Now, car manufacturers are definitely feeling the effect. Sarah Hammond joins us live in Perry to tell us why some of those dealers are getting more than a little nervous. Yeah, that's right. I'm out here in the Hamby Automotive parking lot in Perry, where they tell me they typically have about 125 new cars in this parking lot, but today they just have these seven. Zach Davidson and his parents just bought new cars, and they saw the slim selection for themselves. When I went to the dealership, I looked, you know, at different brands and all that, and I noticed that every dealership on the new car, even the used car, there was hardly anything. But he says he found what he wanted. It was just fate, I guess, or we were just lucky because I know it was it was crazy. They told us, you know, they have no idea when they're going to get anything in. Boris Kostovetsky, general manager of Hamby Automotive in Perry, says they have definitely felt the impact of this chip shortage. It is all our new vehicles. We got seven versus 125 normally what we have. Uh, we probably got about 18 more new vehicles. What in transit somewhere between Atlanta and Perry, Georgia, missing an action. Hopefully we'll get them in the next few days. But owner Mark Hamby says it's not just the chips that are in short supply. There's also foam shortage for the seats to go in the vehicles. And then now you've got a rubber shortage. He says they've already sold about 75% of their inventory before it's even made it into their parking lot. It worries about what we're going to do to support the employees that we have as well as the customers. As for how long this will last, Kostovetsky says they aren't sure. I uh, don't have my crystal ball. I broke it on the way to work this morning, so it's hard to say. Hopefully in the next six months. He says they also have a fairly small selection of used cars, and he says if you're looking to trade in, now's a good time to do that. But if you're looking to buy new, he suggests holding off for a couple months so dealerships can start to build back up their inventory. Live in Perry, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Sarah. There is currently only one company in the U.S. who makes these chips. The other two companies are in Asia.